Hi all, Plant Side Agent here. Today I want to show you all a uh, water bottle holster that I made for my two vehicles. So if you're interested in this sort of thing, stay tuned. Okay, to get started, uh, I'm going to go over the uh, whys I made this holster. And the main reason was that uh, my wife has these uh, narrower water bottles that she always carries with her. And they're... Uh, Let's show you up here. Uh, they really were too big for the uh, for the regular uh, cup holders in the car. You know, they'd bang. You'd bang around. The the one she's actually using is too is even too small for the little in cup insert. So they were they're kind of awkward in the way whenever she's in the car. So she just set them right. Oops. <laughs> she just set them down here by. Her, oops. Let me get back in here. I'm sorry. Yeah, you have to edit around this. But anyway, she just set these on the floor of the car, and whatever would happen when we're driving along, it would, you know, it would tip over, which always annoyed me. <laughs> it kind of surprised then annoyed me. And then if sometimes, you know, it, it would, uh, you know, roll around every time we went around a corner. I just found that very annoying, so I was trying to think of how I could make a holster to hold it so it wouldn't go flopping around all the time. And, uh, I got a hold of these Molly uh, water bottle bags from eBay, and I thought, oh, well, these would be perfect. So, yeah, because they can, I can I attach them to the side of the car, which I'll show you how that works here in a sec. And then uh, I reinforced it with some wire, which I'll show you that a little bit later. But anyway, and it was open, so she could just drop it in, and it's not going anywhere, and she could get it out and drop it in. And this is far enough that it doesn't get in the way of your leg. So, uh, it's working really well. So I put one in my car for her, and then I also put one in her car because she's having the same problem with uh, some place to put her giant, you know, heavy water bottle. So um, <clears throat> just to show you uh, how that how this works is it's attached. Let's see. Let's make good video or not. <laughs> What happens is, um, like I've said on other videos, I use these Molly attachment um, bottle bags. I'll cover the bag a little bit closer when back in the garage. But anyway, so they these slide in to a U. Let's see if we can see that and get in here a little closer. It uh, slides into a, a U bracket that I have uh, screwed into the uh, side of the the center console of the of the rigs, both hers and mine, and uh, with uh, sheet metal screws, so it's pretty secure. So then, then I can just slide the two straps in, and then and then snap them down, and it's not going anywhere. So anyway, that's how it's attached to the car. Now I'll I'll go inside to the garage and uh, explain a little bit on uh, how I made these. Okay, back here in my uh, state-of-the-art uh, high-tech uh, studio, a.k.a. garage workbench. <laughs> uh, anyway, I got these um, water bottle holders here. I'll use this one. I don't know which has a better color contrast. This is a tan one, which is the one... I have another one that... I have the tan one for my wife's car because her interior is tan where mine is black. So it's actually able to match these. You can also get these things in... Uh, green and camouflage depending on your shop around. They're not very expensive. They're about uh, 10 bucks with free shipping. And uh, again, they're the, uh, they call Molly. If you're not familiar with Molly, it's a military uh, PALS webbing and Molly. It's a military attachment system where guys can, they have packs, it just makes it a modular system so they can attach to their packs or their belts uh, any number of things and you've got these, these uh, molly straps will fit in so you can size them. You can also strap other other stuff on them because it's got the webbing all the way around. It's a really pretty cool system. It's uh, very flexible. And this worked out perfect for the water bottle holster because I was trying to think how I was going to make a holster one and how I was going to attach it to the car. I kind of thought about it. And then I'd, I'd gotten these for a different project. I was going to attach these to another pack. And I go, oh, these will be perfect for the uh, car, and, and they are. So 
they're molly, like I said. <clears throat> and uh, so what I could, what I thought about, I went and looked for a uh, bracket uh, called a U bracket. I got these off of uh, Amazon, and uh, they work perfect. And these, this particular one, I, I'll try to put a link to the Amazon site where I bought these. Uh, it's the perfect size for fitting between the two straps on the Molly attachment. So I, I painted more than one. I painted two black in case everyone use it for something else. And then for the wife, I just used silver. So it's all nicely color coded. So it looks like it belonged. It was like it was factory. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, these work perfect. Then I just, I said, I use sheet metal screws, drilled a hole, and then just screwed these on with a washer and sheet metal screws. And um, it's it's fit securely now, as you can see, this one that I just bought recently to replace the one that I put in the wife's car, um, it's kind of flat. And to keep it open, you know, you're gonna always be, you know, doing this nonsense trying to get it in, especially when you're you're, you're driving or whatever. So, I thought, well, what can I do? And what I did was, I got some of these. Uh, here's some of the victims that I used when I made it. Uh, these plastic coated hangers. Of course, you could use any old hanger. It's a good, it's a good sturdy wire, so it stays. So what I did was I just cut out a piece of it from this hanger, and then <clears throat> I fed that in through the uh, through the flap that uses to hold the uh, the tie. So you can always pull this out if it's in the way for you. But I just left mine on, and fed it through here. And uh, I, I wired it, I wired the two ends together, and then I got some of that shrink wrap uh, that's used on wiring, a little shrink wrap plastic to go over the uh, the joint and, and shrunk it down so that it wouldn't uh, rub a hole, although I doubt if it would, but you can, you can go as far as you want on, on securing it. So anyway, yeah, so I just... Uh, bent the wire kind of around a tin can to get the, the round shape and then put the ends together. I just took some thin uh, steel wire to wire it together and then like I said had the shrink wrap thing on there and I don't know if I can easily pull it out or not. Probably not. No. So anyway so that being in there that that holds it open so this it's no problem you know getting the putting the water bottle in and taking it out so it works works perfect so that's how I uh, how I made the uh, the holster like I said it, it attaches nicely to the car works great the wife's real happy I'm real happy I'm not you know getting spooked by that darn uh, hers is metal I just grabbed this one out of the cupboard but she's got a metal one so every time it falls on the floor to clank and you know and and as a driver, any strange noise or smell, I, I get, you know, <laughs> it's like, now what? <laughs> now what's it going to cost me? <laughs> a lot every time. So not having that thing bang around has been real helpful. So uh, let's see. Can't think of anything else to say about it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and um, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.